Uh, OK, well, let's come back to the uh, mail on Sunday and uh, let's have a look at that front page. Here it is. Police chief Heath was a paedophile. Uh, astonishing claim. XPM is guilty of vile crimes that were covered up by the establishment. The police chief investigating crime, crimes, sorry, claims that said Edward Heath was a paedophile is convinced the allegations are 120% genuine, the mail on Sunday can reveal. It says more than 30 people have come forward with claims of sexual abuse and uh, they've come forward from different places. They don't know each other. Uh, well, meet the journalist. Uh, this is the man, Simon Walters, and he's had awards for the quality of his journalism. Uh, here's the uh, main meat of the article. And uh, let's note the big headline, is he guilty? Yes, I'm 120% sure that's the stunning verdict of Wiltshire Chief Constable. Uh, now, the interesting thing about this is the reports that UK Column have had uh, are that that Chief Constable has absolutely stood his ground in continuing to investigate and they have been stunned at the number of people who've come forward People who don't know each other, they come from different areas now, uh, but they're all telling the same story. Um, now, it gets interesting if we get into the body of it. Remember that headline, it, the Chief Constable is saying he's 120% sure. Uh, now, what the article actually says is a source says that uh, Mr. Veal, the Chief Constable, believes in them 120% and believes them totally convincing. So it's not the chief constable that's saying this, it's a source. And then when we get here, uh, what do we find right at the end of the article? Further asked, that's the police spokesman, further asked if Mr. Veal had 120% faith in the allegation, the spokesman declined to comment. So what we can't find in the article is um, anything to support the headline that the police chief said it was 120% sure. Now, if you're curious to, to know what might be going on here, uh, what I think is going on is that the Mail on Sunday is lining that police chief up uh, for a big fall. So we're overcooking it, uh, but we can read some of the language astonishing claims. They can't possibly be true because they're astonishing. Well, isn't the hint in the subheadline because it says, is he guilty? Yes, I'm 100% sure, that's 120% sure, that's definitive. But then the subheadlining says, that's a stunning verdict of Wiltshire Chief Constable reigniting witch hunt row. Absolutely. Right. So this, this article is very carefully crafted. And then of course, what is your eye pulled to on this side of that double page spread? Police refused to call off the dogs after VIP child sex ring fiasco. So we're now starting to gently undermine it all. And there's a, there's a further embedded headline, a little bit difficult to see, bottom right hand corner of your screen. And that says, Heath accuser is a satanic sex fantasist. Um, so the article on the right hand side of the, the page is all starting to undermine that there could possibly be anything of this sort going on. So actually, if you read those two pages, you're left in cognitive dissonance. Dissonance, absolutely. Um, it, it's, it's very, very interesting stuff. The bottom, uh, sorry, the right-hand article, which is in a slightly yellowy colour in the paper, ends by saying this, Times writer and ex-Tory MP Matthew Paris dismissed the allegation saying, if Heath was a child abuser, I'm an aardvark. So I think there's some very, very dirty journalism going on here by the Mail on, uh, on Sunday, but uh, we've got it going on with the paedophile story. Can't possibly be any paedophiles in government. And we've got it to do with the military and nuclear weapons, mm. total spin. So we'd like to just say, of course, no way there can possibly have been any paedophiles in, in uh, Parliament, certainly none in the Lib Dem party, because uh, Nick Clegg, who was one of uh, Leon Britton's European political boys, uh, has said that, uh, oh, we don't, we don't have sexual abuse in the Lib Dem party. And of course, there are no uh, Labour Party uh, MPs ever campaigned for uh, the right to take sexual images of children. Um, well, there were, there were a couple. Ah, okay. What can we say? 
Right, what's next? Uh, 